is a beautiful day in Pleasant Grove, Utah. I'm Rachel Marshall. I'm here with my husband, Luke. And today we're gonna take a walk through our Shop Excel machine. Excited to have you guys come along with us. Let's go on inside. history of our shop we've been in business for over 25 years now and my dad actually started Excel machine in his garage uh, after his his current company was moving from Salt Lake to Houston and he didn't want to move his his family uh, to Houston he wanted to stay in Salt Lake so he got six months severance pay from that company and he him and my mom decided to take a risk with two kids and a mortgage and start their own business. And here we are 25 years later, still going. They're getting close to retirement age. Um, so as they're winding down, me, me and Rachel are stepping in and, and taking over the, the company. And we're, we're really excited, we're really excited to do that and grateful for the opportunity to do that. We are out in our inspection area. This is right outside our office. And it's kind of separated from the machines. We keep this area extremely clean and extremely organized. This is where, you know, a part comes off the machine, a first article, and we want to inspect it really, really well. We bring it over here. We have all the equipment we need to, to make sure your parts are, are perfect and they ship to, to you just the way you want them. Got a nice surface plate here, height gauge, drop mics calipers and micrometers of all different sizes. We got bore mics over here. We have an optical comparator over here. And down here on this side over here, we have all different size gauge pins. We have thread gauges, gauge blocks, just all your standard equipment you want to make sure that we, we produce high quality parts everything's in tolerance and we give you the exact parts you ordered. We also do have Renishaw probing on our machines so we do some on machine inspection and then bring it over here and and verify that's good so a lot of times we double check things and and make sure everything's just perfect. Every once in a while people hit me up on LinkedIn and they say how did you get the world famous lathe babe to marry you? And the answer is quite simple. You just need a huge set of calipers. All right, now we for the fun part, we get to talk about our, our machines. First off, we're on the PF2SS, or Iron Man as we like to call him. Um, we've had this machine for about five years and really, really love it. It's got the 12,000 RPM spindle, Renishaw probing, holds 24 tools and this machine has just been awesome. You can, you know, touch off all the tools, touch off your part with the probing and just get, you know, those one-off parts are perfect the first time. We've absolutely loved this machine. We would buy another one in a heartbeat. Um, let's, let me show you inside the machine here how we got it set up. This works really good for us. So we have the two Kurt six inch vices, and then we have the Haas fourth axis over here. We pretty much leave it set up like this all the time. If you have your simple jobs where you just have, you know, one side and flip to the other, it works great for that. Or if you have a part that you need to hit all six sides, we can build a fixture, mount it to the fourth axis, 
you know, start off here, move to here, move to the fourth, and get that part done in, in one operation. So we, we really love this setup. We have a similar setup on our other mill. Seems to, to work great for us. All right, well this is our Doosan Lynx. This is our newest machine uh, to our shop. We also call it Thanos. Uh, we use this machine for our smaller high precision parts. Um, we do keep a 5C collet in here. Um, just makes things a little bit easier in comparison to our other leg we'll talk about in a second. Um, we also customize this shelving here. We've done it for a few of our machines, but it's great to hold air hose, Allen wrenches, things like that. Um, does have a parts catcher as well. Really, really nice feature. Uh, we've loved this machine. I've loved it. Um, this actually was the first machine that I ran. And um, a lot of people ask how I got the name Lave Babe. Uh, Luke just said one day, you're on the Lave, babe. And it just kind of stuck. So here we are. But the Lave is actually a really, really fun machine for me. Uh, this new song has been great. All right, now I'm gonna show you the most important item in the whole shop. Like, this is our secret, okay? Secret. I'm only showing you guys. Coffee pot. Without this baby, I don't think we'd ever get any work done. All right, now this is our other lathe. Um, this is our Haas ST20. We also call him Captain America. Uh, this machine right here we've had for about 10 years. Uh, we actually like to uh, uh, use this machine for parts um, where they don't actually fit in the collet in our other lathe. Um, so we like to use our 8 inch truck over here. Um, just saves on setup time. Um, if we need to swap them out, you know, we definitely will, but we like to kind of keep them set up that way if we can. Um, but this machine's been really great. Runs really smooth, uh, really easy to operate. This is our second Haas VF2. Uh, we like to call this one Spider-Man. This machine's been around a little bit longer. I, I believe it's a 1998, but it's been a fabulous machine, an absolute workhorse for this shop. Um, I've, I've really loved this machine. It's got a 10,000 RPM spindle. It's got the Renishaw probe in there. It holds 20 tools and the tool carousel. Um, we have it set up similar to the other one with the two Kurt 6 inch vices, but on this one we have a Haas 5C 4th axis rotary. This one's really great for small parts that need 4th axis work. A lot of times I keep a 1 inch collet in there and a lot of times I will build a fixture with a 1 inch diameter boss that can go in that 5C collet which will allow you to rotate a part around, hit all those angles you need. It's just, it's just a, a really fabulous tool to have. And it also doesn't take up much table space, which, which is great. All right, guys, check this out. This is a 1993 Haas VFO. Uh, this machine actually has some history. Uh, this was uh, in my father-in-law's garage when he first started Excel Machine. Um, it's lasted us this long. It makes some great pristine, pristine parts. It just runs a little slower, but it still has done well for us. Um, here at our shop, we do pride ourselves in taking really good care of our machines, we like to keep them nice and clean. Uh, we strongly believe that if you take care of your machines, they'll take care of you. This machine has made us money time and time again. It's a great one. We're going to talk to you guys for a minute about running a small business and also working with your spouse. The challenges with that, the benefits to that. Um, you know, there's some really great things about working with your spouse. For instance, we're usually on the same schedule and on the same page with, with work. We get to spend a lot of time together. We can always make sure that our, our daughter, we have the freedom to make sure that our daughter is, you know, taken care of, gets to school on time. She can even come here to the shop. There's an apartment upstairs here that she can hang out at if we need to work overtime or on weekends. So those are all really great benefits. Some some challenges, well, what do you think the challenges are working together? Uh, challenges, well, um, 
uh, I would have to say I am not a machinist. Um, I come in with, um, I think, some great benefits as far as um, providing cleaning, providing material prep, um, you know, marketing, also talking with salesmen and customers, answering the phones, loops running machines, programming. It's great that I think I can come in and be able to take care of some of that work when he's needing to be focused. Um, so uh, that's definitely, you know, some challenges that I think are actually overcome um, when you have someone that can just come in here and support some mm -hmm. of those those daily tasks that can sometimes be distracting. So, yeah, we have we have different strengths and different weaknesses, and it's important to recognize those strengths and do the things that get you excited, and and also you know know your weaknesses, and if your partner can do those things for you, then that's going to help your business a lot. So, for example, Rachel comes from a lot of customer service background. She's really good at that. She's done it. A lot for years she has a bachelor's degree in technical sales so she's been very good at handling you know the marketing on LinkedIn and also you know customer outreach and answering phones emails etc um, you know my strengths are I've been around in the machine shop since I was 12 years old I've been around these machines for 20 plus years and, and I've picked up a lot from my dad and I've become a good machinist in that but also, when you're running a small business, you got to do things that nobody wants to do sometimes. For example, you know, we have the attitude around here that nobody is too big for any job. You know, one day I may be programming a high precision, beautiful part. The next day I may be cleaning coolant tanks or, you know, scrubbing the toilet. And it not we're not above anything here. And Rachel's fully embraced that attitude. I mean, you know, one day she could be hair and makeup and all dressed up, doing some marketing on LinkedIn, and the next she's got her sleeves up running a machine. So, Absolutely. Um, you know, I think I can come in handy when Luke really has a part that needs a lot of focus and attention, and I run a lot of parts that um, are high, higher production, really just kind of take them in and out, kind of take that off his plate a little bit. Um, uh, we love the, those parts. They keep us busy, but also he can focus on some really intricate and neat work that keeps things really exciting for him as a machinist, too. Yeah, so. we're, we're a job shop. We get all kinds of different work. Sometimes we get small production jobs, maybe, you know, 500 parts. And other times we get, you know, prototype work, just one part. So, a lot of times I'll get a machine set up, running great on the small prototype work, and then she'll run that, and then I can move over to another machine and, you know, program and, and get get the one-off parts running well. So, I really enjoy running the machines, though. They've been exciting. They keep things exciting for me. Gets me out of the office for a little bit, and I'm glad that I can help mm -hmm. and support him and keeping our parts going and running smooth. And if all else fails and you're having trouble working with your spouse, here's a tip. Earplugs. Well, you're an idiot. What? All right, now this is our fixturing uh, shelving here. Um, this is where we keep all of our fixtures. We got some milling jaws, lathe jaws, tombstones. I like to say tombstones. Um, collets and checks. So we like to keep everything organized here, makes things very easy to find, all neatly labeled. So this helps us out a lot. Again, just keeping our production running nice and smooth. Um, now I'm probably gonna date myself here because I just, I'm just seeing this, but y'all remember NTV Cribs? I do. Remember they always show the fridge? I guess I have to show you the fridge. Look at that. We got some waters, drinks. You know, I like buffed up. I need my energy. Some days. Chips, snacks. Y'all are always welcome to stop on by and then have yourself a snack. All right, this is our compressor room. Uh, this isn't the fanciest part of the machine shop, but it's definitely important. We uh, had this framed in so it's fully enclosed because as you know, air compressors are loud and 
we don't want to listen to this all day so it's it's in, framed in and insulated well so so we keep the noisy compressor separated from the machines uh, we also have some tumblers and deburring in here those are noisy also so if it's noisy it goes in this room this room also just doubles as extra storage for for oils and and things we need grease things we need for maintenance um, just just extra storage in these cabinets so it's it's a nice little room to have but most importantly it keeps keeps the the noisy things like the compressors and the tumblers in a separate closed off room now this is our do-all saw uh, does it all me and the saw are pretty tight i do a lot of material prep over in this corner works great um it's been sawing up material for us since we've been in this building so 20 years or so. Um, absolutely amazing. It has a cut counter, which is nice. Um, make sure we have the right amount of parts. Works really smooth. Um, we also have grinding wheel and fan saw over here. So our nice little corner just to kind of uh, material prep and uh, get our parts ready to be machined. All right, this is our tool crib. Um, so the, for all our milling tools are over here. So we got our tool holders and we got, everything is really organized. That's when I'm setting up a job, I don't want to spend forever looking for the right tool. So we have all our drills, numbered drills, letter drills, taps, um, fractional drills, and then everything on this toolbox is labeled. So when you need a tool, you can go find it. Like our carbide end mills are all right here. Organized by size, organized by flute, organized by coating. So it's just really easy to find what you're looking for. All right, guys, we've reached the end of our tour. We wanna thank you for taking time out of your, your busy day to walk through the shop with us. and. We also want to thank Practical Machinists for, uh, for featuring us on their YouTube channel. They put out a lot of great content, so if you haven't subscribed to them yet, go ahead and click that bell and subscribe, and, and uh, they just put out a lot of great content, especially for those in the, the manufacturing industry or, or wanting to learn about the manufacturing industry. Yep, and you can also visit our website at excelmachine.net. Uh, feel free to contact us there, any questions or quotes. Um, also, you can uh, look us up on uh, LinkedIn. Uh, we love LinkedIn. It's been a great asset for us. Uh, it's a great, great uh, social media tool. Yeah, make sure you guys follow the world famous Lathe Babe on LinkedIn because it's just a really fun time and a lot of just see the ins and outs of our, our everyday. It's, it's just kind of fun. We try and do some humorous, fun things. and. And uh, it's just a good time, so. It is a good time. Yeah, definitely check us out. I love to also make things just really light and fun here at the shop. Um, I hope you guys enjoy some of the reels coming your way here soon. Thanks again. See you guys later. Bye.